Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a Freeman Tukey or modified Freeman Tukey goodness of fit test using Microsoft Excel and my Stickpad E add-in. Um, if you've never used my add-in before, it's available on my GitHub account. Here's the link. Once you've downloaded the file, you can open Excel, go to File, Options, Add-ins and then Go. Then browse and select the downloaded file. If you don't want to use my add-in, I have a separate video on how to perform this test without my add-in. This video will focus on how to obtain the output, not so much if you should be using this test, because there are some who say that the regular Pearson chi-square or the G-test of goodness of fit is actually preferred. The Stickpad E library, once installed, um, you can use the function TS Freeman Tukey GOF, short for goodness of fit. It requires as input the data. You use a uh, specific range uh, vertically, so don't select the entire column A, but really select the range specifically. If you want, you can add the expected counts. Uh, in that case, list the categories and the expected count for each. There are continuity corrections available, either the Pearson, ES Pearson, Williams, Yates, and a slightly different version of Yates. And the output will be um, a range, so not just one cell. Uh, it will show the sample size, the number of categories that was actually used, the chi-square value, the statistic, the degrees of freedom, the p-value or significance, the minimum expected count, uh, if you don't provide expected counts, it will actually simply uh, use the sample size and divide that by the number of categories. Uh, and then all of them are the same, but it will show what the lowest one was. And the proportion of cells that have an expected count below 5. Also a small description of the test that was used. So here's an example. Um, I typed in the formula. I gave it a specific range, and once I hit enter, it nicely gives me all these results. This E-251 means that I need to multiply this with uh, 1 over 10 to the power of 251, so it means it's going to be 0 point, and then about 250 zeros, and then 2919, so extremely small. Usually the threshold is at 0.05, so this is far below that. We would then reject the null hypothesis and, in this case, not um, in the population, most likely not each category will be chosen equally often. If you want the modified version, the same thing, just then set the modified parameter to true, and it will then actually perform the modified freeman uh test of goodness of fit. Alright, um, and that's it. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.